God who's the head of all of our lives. Whether we admit it or not, he's the head. And I'd like to give an honor to my pastor, Reverend Green. And to all the mothers and any other evangelists or pastor, Sister Faith, Minister Faye over here. I just like to say thank you. I thank each and every one for coming out today. I don't know about the hooping and hollering. <laughs> I don't know about whatever you're looking for. All right, the only Amen. thing I can give you is Jesus. Amen. That's all I can give you. For whom he did foreknow, 
he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among, among many members, brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? If God be for us, who can be against us? And if I have to give a subject, it would be, he meant it for my good. He meant it for my good. You know, we grow up, we hear, we hear about the Lord, and we, as children, we're made to go to church, and we wonder, is God real? Is God real? But we go on because our parents make us. And as I was coming up in life, I knew I was different. I knew I was different. When I was young, I was sick all the time. They say it's always one in the family that's sick. You look at them, I'm the sick one. I couldn't walk. They say I had poor circulation. Say I never grow out of it. I used to sit home and cry. My mom be telling my dad doing it like this. Trying to make the blood flow. Sitting there taking my dad doing it as a box, I'd be crying. And if that wasn't even worse, I had souls in my head. I had got lance when I was a baby, and the purse started running out. See, I went through what you're looking at right here is a person come through a lot of pain. Pain in my life. I had heard about God, but I didn't know how to trust God. Because I kept saying, God, the only thing I'm facing is pain. Where is God? Where is God? But I used to hear my mom and grandma praying all the time. And I said, Lord, where are you? Then as I got older, I thought it would get better, y'all. I got in school. I started getting pushed to the side. I was dark. My other sisters and their brothers were brown. I had short hair. They had medium long hair. I felt like the outcast. <laughs> and I say, where are you, God? But if everybody look around, they say, this is the best sister. Little did they know, I'm in all this pain. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. You only see what people want you to see. Behind that face is tears. We should be careful how we treat one another. Because you don't know what that person going through with. You don't know. And then when I thought it was over, I said, well, God's going to show up now. My mom died. I said, oh, no. At a very young age. So if I don't reach out and show love, pray for me. I was tossed from home to home. My sister, does she tell you? We struggle. But in the midst of it, God kept me, y'all. Amen. God kept me. Even though I was asking where God was, he kept me. As I get older and look back, I say, God, you was there all the time. You was there all the time. You was making me, molding me, shaping me. And some of us sit here don't want to go through nothing.
take your money. He's trying to teach you how to trust him. Because you won't have to be able to trust God. Because there's going to be days you're not going to see your way. There's going to be days mama ain't going to be able to answer the phone. There's going to be days daddy ain't going to be there. You're going to have to lean and depend on Jesus for yourself. You know mama won't help you, but sometimes mama ain't got you. And we got the audacity to get mad.
y'all be real love? All right. Yeah. Do y'all know that I was coming up going from home to home? And I said, Lord, do these folks even love me? God showed me real love. I told y'all I had a grandma who went to church and prayed, but I love you wasn't nothing that came out of her mouth. She just didn't say it. And guess what? I grew up hard and saying it. Y'all see this curse going? I didn't hear it. So guess what? It's something I barely said. I showed it, but to say it. And you know who suffered something? My children. Because that's something I just didn't. I hear a lot of parents say, I love you, I love you. And it breaks my heart. Because that's something I couldn't say. How say something that you never felt? And we think about things. We think about it. We look at folks. We judge folks. Oh, you don't look right. I was happy in my tennis shoes. I was happy in my t-shirt. I was happy in my jeans, my ponytail. But guess what God said? No. All right. no. When Reverend Green came to me and told me, say, Sister Rack, you're going to have to do better. You're a minister.
She got the prettiest mouth. It lets you know. Folks are watching you. Amen. I bet. This song meant it for my good. It says a lot. I wish I could sing it, but I can't. It's by Dottie Peoples. It describes me a whole lot. I've been heard in church while attempting to do God's work by people who call themselves saints. Amen. I felt like giving up. But the Spirit says, Lizzie, you can. You know the Lord? push you through a lot of things you don't understand. If you gonna be on the Lord's side, you can't be no weak Christian. You can't be no weak Christian. You gotta be able to take it if you don't make it. But it's worth it. 
what your reward is. If I can stand up here or go on the street, I told Reverend Green, I say, it's my desire to help someone. I said, I don't know if I want to be in the four walls, but it's go whatever God's will I gotta do. Because my I want to help someone. Because there's so many lost people out there, y'all. They lost, they hurt, and they don't know where to go. It's bad. No, you need Jesus. No, you need Jesus. Scared to call on. That's bad. Or don't know how to call on. You calling everybody but Jesus. Jesus is real, y'all. If you don't remember anything else I say, Jesus is real. Trust Jesus. Trust him with everything you got. Be like Job. Don't he slay me? Yet will I trust him? You gotta have that kind of faith. Don't he slay me? Yet will I trust him? Cause you gonna get slain, and you gonna go through stuff. But God is right there, and everybody ain't against you. Everybody ain't against you. Sometimes it's you against you. You and your attitudes. Run the people away from you. Because everybody ain't against you. God got all these people in line helping you. And then they helping you. But your attitude and your pride. Your attitude and your pride is letting all your help go back. And you said, Jesus did you, did you deal? You said, I said that you turned your way. Sometimes we wait on our help to come from a specific person. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Because when you're a child of God, if you come from anywhere, if you come from anywhere. But you got to have a heart to accept it. Remember anything else, Jesus is free. And I love the Lord. Amen.